Hello, my name is Jackie Dempsey and I work for Atsuka America Pharmaceutical. I'm also a transgender female and because it is Pride Month, I want to tell you my story. First, I want to try and explain what being transgender is like for me and my transition journey to live an authentic life both personally and professionally. As I said, I am a transgender woman, which means I was born physically male but my brain developed and is wired to feel and act female. I do not have a conscious memory, but I must have tried to express these feelings early because by the time I was five years old, I was extremely self-conscious of these feelings and terrified of expressing anything that might be seen as feminine. I spent my childhood and most of my adult life hiding these feelings. For people in my generation, this means a life of loneliness, fear, isolation, resentment, anger, self-hatred, trying to prove to the world you were what they expected you to be. In the 60s, 70s, and 80s, there was no internet, no counselors, no references, no information of any kind. Totally alone with your own feelings and thoughts, terrified that someone would find out, let alone ever trying to tell someone. My entire life was spent trying to understand these feelings, eventually learning that it had a name, trying to deal with it in my day-to-day -day life, running away, becoming hyper-masculine, doing anything to prove I was a man, exercising, lifting weights, playing rugby, hiding. I had confided in my wife early in our relationship and she tried to understand, but there was no way that we could allow this to be part of our lives. There was no way to address this. And I was forced to find a way to ignore and hide it from everyone. Over the next 25 years, I tried to live a normal life, having kids, a job, a house, friends, and these distractions helped in many ways to bury these feelings as much as possible, but periodically it would find its way to the surface and cause problems. Over the years, I, can, I continued to look for information and ways to understand my feelings. I was able to learn that I wasn't alone. I tried to reconcile my feelings in any way I could with diversions, but nothing helped. I experienced serious episodes of anger and desperation, becoming antisocial with friends and family. The sense of hopelessness was suffocating. It's hard to understand this, but over 40% of our community have either committed or tried to commit suicide. That's the highest percentage of any social group anywhere. Finally, out of total desperation, I sat down with my wife to tell her I needed to transition as my life had become totally toxic to both of us and our family. This was about seven years ago. Over the years, I had learned what being transgender was and I had mentally come to terms with it and who I was and who I wanted to be. My therapist was surprised that I was so assured that who I was and where I wanted to go and what I wanted to accomplish and the process started. The transition was slow. My wife and I made a decision to take it slow, to make sure our kids were well adjusted, that they didn't uh, encounter any issues at home or at, at school. I connected with the transgender community and for the first time I was able to openly talk about my feelings, my fears and desires. I mean, for the first time in 60 years, I was able to talk to people about my true feelings and to have people look at me with those eyes of understanding was truly a watershed moment in my life. I gradually became more confident in my appearance and going out in public. After about three years, I was living a double life. And at first I planned to live a dual life, but as I became more confident in being Jackie, I knew it would never work. I was living as Jackie everywhere except at work. I was still Jack. Can you imagine that? One letter in one word making such a big difference in life. But it did. I knew I had to take the final step, but I had heard all the horror stories of harassment, verbal, and even physical abuse. Even worse, losing my job and destroying my career. It's hard to verbalize the level of desperation that pushes you to do this. When I started my transition, people kept telling me how brave and how courageous I was. And it wasn't bravery, it wasn't courage, it was desperation. I knew that Atsuka had a strong policy of tolerance and acceptance, which gave me the confidence that I could professionally survive. 
But corporate tolerance is one thing, but how well my coworkers react. People can be forced to continue to work with you, but what about your actual relationships? Would I be minimized? Many individuals in my position want to transition to their desired gender, and then they just want to start a new life. They want to make as few waves as possible, telling only the people that need to know, and once transitioned, leaving their old life behind. Unfortunately, I did not have that option. I knew and worked with everyone from our president to our facilities workers. So when I transitioned, it would be noticed. I decided to test the waters by confiding in a few trusted friends. Their unrestricted response of support and acceptance was nothing less than profound. The day finally came to tell my manager and to make it official. There was no turning back. I was committed. Over the next several months, I continued to meet with key individuals one-on-one, -on -one, then in groups, and finally upper senior management. I was ready to accept and embrace myself for cold corporate tolerance and acceptance, stealing myself to start work in an isolated way. What I was prepared for and what I experienced could not have been more opposite. The level of unqualified, spontaneous, and open acceptance was so profound, it truly changed the trajectory of my life. When I started to confide in my friends, I had joked about ever having enough nerve to walk into work presenting as my authentic self. I truly could, not, could see myself frozen at the steering wheel of my car, afraid to get out. When the day finally arrived, not only was I not scared or even nervous, I was actually excited and eager to walk in the door. The result was not only anticlimactic, it was even boring. Just another day at work. Imagine, just another day. The truly best part of that since my first day at work as my authentic self in September of, nine, of 2019, I have not experienced any difference in the way people treat me or interact with me. I'm just Jackie, the same person they have always known and that I always wanted to be. Atsuka has not only allowed me to realize my lifelong dream, but so much more. I dreamed of a world seeing and accepting me as Jackie. Because not only has Atsuka as a company accepted me, but the Atsuka community has as well. They have allowed me to be comfortable in my own skin. As an individual, whether that is male, female, or transgender, I am proud of who I am as a human being. You cannot force an attitude or belief system on someone. But you can live it, and that is what Atsuka and the Atsuka community has done. Atsuka has taken diversity and inclusion from a corporate policy to a way of life. Please know there are people and companies who are openly accepting you for who you are. I hope my words help you on your journey to live an authentic life.